Hello, I'm Jason Savoy, Environmental Product Manager here at Symmetrics. Today we're going to cover the process on replacing the battery on a Level Scout 2X and Barrel Scout 2X. Before starting a battery replacement on a Level Scout 2X or a Barrel Scout 2X, you're going to want to obtain the proper battery replacement kit, which contains a battery, a snap ring, dust kit, and replacement o rings a pick tool, and a pair of forceps. Before we can replace the battery, we'll need to gain access to the battery chamber. On this Barrow Scout 2X, we need to first disconnect from the back shell that we'd use to hang it in a well or in a casing. If it's a cable unit, we're going to want to make sure first that we disconnect the cable. To do so, we want to make sure we do not turn by the cable. We want to hold the Level Scout 2X here, and we want to turn at the knurled collar, not the cable. Turning on the cable could actually do damage to the connector. Like so. Next, we're going to want to remove the retaining ring that holds the connector in place. It's right down in there, and we can grab that with a pick tool. When using a pick tool, you want to be very careful with not damaging the threads, not damaging these threads, or not damaging any O-rings in the process. We're going to get the dental pick under the ring and slowly coax it out. If we move too fast, it could go flying and we could lose it. But that's why we have a replacement. Carefully remove the ring and next we're going to coax out the connector. We're going to move slowly because if we pull too fast, we could damage the connectors. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the connectors. The small one is a battery, the large one are the terminal wires. We're going to go ahead and pull the battery up just a little bit. And we're going to disconnect by depressing the little button on the side. The battery comes out like so. Now that we have the battery, we're going to go ahead and replace the desk kit inside. We're going to go ahead and disconnect the terminal clip so I have better access to it. Next, I'm going to use my forceps and gently reach in there, being careful of the wires and circuit board inside, and remove the desiccant. I'm going to take my new desiccant, grip it with my forceps. There's a little pocket where the desiccant fits inside. I'm going to go ahead and aim for that and insert my new desiccant. Make sure it falls right down into that pocket inside. Now's a good time to replace the O-rings. There's a single O-ring on the connector, and there are double O-rings on the body of the sensor. To remove an O-ring, pinch and push, and then you can easily roll the O-rings off one at a time. So, we're going to look for any damage or debris in the collar rings to make sure the new O-rings will have a good seal. To put new O-rings on, just go ahead, pull them over, and roll them into this proper spot. Repeat the process. For your connector o ring. With the o rings replaced, I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the top connector. I'm going to make sure the button that releases the clip is on the inside, like so. 
Next, I'm going to take my new battery and I'm going to go ahead and push it in to its connector slot with the button on the inside as well. Make sure it has a nice connection. Take the battery, slide it down inside. And then last, when putting the battery in, we want to make sure the connector goes in correctly. And you'll notice that there's flats on both sides of the connector. They match up with flats on the inside right here. We're going to want to line those up, make sure we get those right, and pop in the connector. Next comes the retainer ring. We're going to go ahead and pop that in. It takes just a finger to do it. It needs the forceps. Yep, make sure it goes down and seats in place. And we've known it, we know we've got it done and right, and we cannot pull the connector back out. The final step in a successful battery replacement on a Level Scout 2X or Barrow Scout 2X is to connect it to its comm cable, connect it to a computer. Make sure it connects like so now from here we can download or set up a new logging event if you have any questions please call symmetrics 303-458-5500